matter you of principle, and I'll, and I'll tell you. You are the single biggest liar. You probably are worse than Jeb Bush. You are the single biggest liar. There He's a go. nasty guy. Remember that lion Ted from the 2016 GOP primary. Will we see it again in 2024? Who knows? Let's be honest, though. All politicians lie to us in one way or the other, but not all lies are created equal. And Ted Cruz got busted in a bit of a fib, and it looks bad in most of the media, a lot of the left. They're now trying uh, to blow this way out of proportion. People like the Lincoln Project, they are trying to use Ted Cruz's trip to raise money for their corrupt organization. The same people trying to desperately recover from allegations of financial mismanagement and sexual abuse. Yes, that Lincoln Project. Of course, the Lincoln Project will never take on Andrew Cuomo, a guy who could potentially face criminal charges for covering up the deaths of thousands of senior citizens from COVID in New York State. What Ted Cruz did was bad, but it certainly wasn't Andrew Cuomo bad. And here's the point we really want to drive home, though. Intellectual honesty is what we strive for here on this program, unlike the folks at the Lincoln Project and other politicians out there. That's why we can call out both Ted Cruz and Andrew Cuomo and differentiate between these two stories and tell you why they are important. And Gavin Newsom dining at the French Laundry and that teacher's union lady from Chicago who went down to Puerto Rico while telling everyone that their kids couldn't go into school. Remember Mayor Lori Lightfoot's uh, hair appointment? We would forgive you if you forgot. But how about Nancy Pelosi's blowout? Of course, more memorable. And then there was the mayor of Austin, Texas, who went down to Cabo while asking his constituents to lock it down. Don't forget that Ted Cruz called him out for that. Now, a big part of Cruz's brand is trolling the left, liberal tears and all that. And I respect that to a point, but we're at that point right now. None of these stories, though, really should be mutually exclusive. They are all unique in their own way, and you can follow them all, even if you are a supporter of the person embroiled in the scandal. The only common thread really here in these stories is that it involve, they all involve people who are supposed to represent the best of us, our representatives, our leaders. As for Cruz, his explanation, a father wanting to get his family out of a horrible situation, very relatable. It, it was obviously a mistake, and in hindsight, I, did, I wouldn't have done it. Um, I was trying to be a dad. Who can blame him for that? Family first, a noble way to live, but Ted Cruz also voluntarily ran for this Senate seat. The other problem for Cruz is that Beto O'Rourke is out there playing hero. Ted Cruz making furry Beto the skateboarder look good. That's quite a feat. Also, AOC has raised a million dollars, she claims, for the people of Texas. But perhaps the biggest problem in this story is that it's not quite square yet. The fact that Ted Cruz said he was, checks notes here, dropping his family off in Mexico because it's safer than Texas and then coming right back. Are we supposed to believe that? Published flight records show that Cruz was originally supposed to come back this weekend, not on Thursday, as we were first led to believe. He still has to clean that up. Now, a lot of people like Ted Cruz. I like Ted Cruz, but no one likes to be lied to. And that includes the good people of Texas. Cruz barely won his Senate race against Beto. In fact, it was the closest U.S. Senate race in Texas since 1978. Now, four years from now is a long time, but you know the media and Beto and the rest of the left will never let us or anyone out there forget that this happened. All this week, there have been plenty of other Republicans, too, from Texas's congressional delegation down in Texas who stayed there. One of them was Beth Van Dyne. She was on our show yesterday. In fact, she was in her car on her way to help out her, her constituents when she appeared on this program on Skype. Congresswoman Van Dyne is also one of the GOP future stars featured in that Dan Crenshaw Texas Reloaded video. Let's take a look. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will be to save Texas. Now, leaders show up. They find a way to help. They literally made the superhero style commercial about all these fresh young GOP faces, too. They were down there in Texas. Ted Cruz was not. Now, if Ted Cruz wants to be a dad again, I totally get it. I'm a dad myself. But if Ted Cruz wants to be a dad and a U.S. senator, he still has some explaining to do, and if he doesn't, that's cool. He can rest easy. There are plenty of other Republicans in Texas who seem like they are up to the task. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.